In this video, I'm going to teach you how to enable remote MySQL in Hostinger. If you've been wanting to connect to your MySQL database remotely from another server or device, you're in the right place. This process is straightforward once you get the hang of it. So let's dive right in. First, look at your Hostinger dashboard and log in to your H panel. Once you've successfully logged in, your next step is to navigate to the website section. You'll find this option in the top menu bar. Hover over it and a drop down will appear. Next, click on Manage for the site you wish to connect remotely. This action will open up the main management dashboard of your website. Now that you're on the management page, direct your attention to the left-hand sidebar. As you scroll down, you will see an option labeled Remote MySQL. Click on it and this will bring you to the section dedicated to setting up remote access for your MySQL databases. The next step is to allow remote access. You'll notice a field where you can enter the IP address from which you want to connect. If you know the specific IP, go ahead and type it in. However, if you want to allow any IP to connect, there's a handy checkbox labeled any host. By ticking this, you'll see the field automatically fills with a percent sign, percent, which means access is granted to all IPs. You can also use the comment field here to jot down a quick note about this connection for future reference. Once you've set up the remote access details, it's time to select the database you wish to connect remotely. You'll see a drop down menu listing all your databases. Carefully choose the database you intend to access. Ensure you've picked the right one, as this setting is crucial. Now, here's the exciting part. After confirming everything your IP address, order any host setting, and your chosen database, go ahead and click on the Create button. This action will enable remote access to the specified database. Once that's done, remember to locate your MySQL server's hostname and port. You can find this information at the top of the remote MySQL section. Generally, the default port is 3306, unless specified otherwise. And there you have it. Your remote MySQL connection should now be enabled. From here, you can manage or even remove access later if needed, which will appear in the list beneath your settings. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment to share your thoughts, and don't forget to subscribe for more handy tutorials. Thanks for watching and happy coding.